Today I'm running to town, but it's not an ordinary town run. I'm getting something that I've wanted for quite a while, and I actually tried to get one, if you guys remember, a few months ago, and it didn't work out. I had to return it. Well, there's another device I'm getting, so let's get to town. falling off the counter it ain't gonna work for me <laughs> got it back at home where I can take a closer look this thing is probably way too fancy for me it's a beautiful piece but I'm a fairly uh, plain and simple individual and this is anything but that but it looks really really cool Is a Ruger 44 Magnum Super Blackhawk. It's basically the uh, revolver I've always dreamed of. I kind of wanted the old model. This is actually the newer style, but it's okay. I will be very happy with it. It'll function and do the job. Really, it's a tool for me to. Uh, yeah, it's not a uh, rifle, but it can reach out there like a rifle to an extent. The long barrel on it got plenty of power but yet it's much easier to keep on you and I'm hoping that the uh, stainless actually is much more weather resistant because this will inevitably get rained on and I'll have to keep it all oiled up but yeah beautiful piece I don't know how often it's been fired but I would suspect not a whole lot I'm not sure about the knife that comes with it it's pretty cool looking Pretty cool looking thing. I'm not sure it's actually a practical tool. Looks like it is. It doesn't say made in China on it anyway, so it's probably at least something decent. Might just be for, uh, reminds me of a steak knife or something. But I may just swap that out with something that I feel is a little more practical or not carry it at all and just use another knife that I have. But. Yeah, enough about all this. Let's see how this thing actually performs. For target shooting, you can actually shoot a 44 Special as well, which is a smaller round. Well, it's not a smaller round, it's a lighter load. That's a better way to say it. But I will also be shooting the 44 Magnum. So when you're doing Go. We'll get several of these loaded in here. And then we'll go down to the range. See how it works. That's a lot louder. Well, that was a bunch of fun. However, I didn't hit much and I'm pretty sure that my technique is extremely poor. Like, moving my hand all around, flinching with the gun, like really. Anyway, so it's possible that the, uh, I kept shooting high every time, it's possible that the sights are not totally lined up you can kind of even see that but until i get my 
technique a whole lot better or put this thing on a sandbag so I know it's not or an amount so that I can make sure that it's actually the gun. Right now, me missing the target, I would blame on me, not the firearm itself. So I'm not adjusting anything until I get a little bit, a little bit better. And I'll shoot something with some cheaper ammunition to do that. But you can definitely see, if I zoom in here, and it doesn't get blurry, that that rear sight is also off to the left significantly. So, there may or may not be some adjusting to do there, but first I gotta adjust me and then I'll worry about adjusting that. So, thanks for watching. Think this will be a fun toy. It'll be a tool once I make sure it's dialed in and make sure I'm far more comfortable with it and using it properly. And then, then I'll be using it as a tool. So, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll try to do a follow-up video later when I get better at it.